is we can, well, in this case, just repair the droid. If we repair the droid using one of the repair parts, I'm guessing we get more options. We can put it on patrol, and it will fight by our side. So this thing isn't just sitting here just to be... You know, I don't think we're going to be needing these repair parts. I wonder if I'll... I'll do a quick save, and I'll... Let's take a look. Let's just try it. Repair the droid. Yeah, here we go. So if I repair the droid, I could optimize its weaponry, optimize its targeting systems, activate the patrol mode. But you can see for me that would be, well, that's 5, 9, 10, 12, 15 repair parts. And then it would go back fully armed, fully shielded, and it would do a lap of this ring of apartments, which actually would be greatly in my favor because this ring of apartments has lots of mini fights and I get the what's the word I am looking for folks fill in the word I get the experience points but not right now leave it alone and I think I used a repair point, uh, part just to take a look yes so let's reload and magically my repair part is back so let's take a look in here okay so as I think I mentioned in a previous video also these are not so nice these apartments so opening them can do what just happened here start fights and I think I'll just leave Karth to go about his own thing okay still doing quite well uninjured Since these are bad guys, no problem looting indiscriminately. And that looks like something to loot, but I guess it's not. Okay, nothing down there yet. And we will just do the same thing again. Apparently, they tell me, and maybe if you set this to harder than I'm setting it, up close fighting with the blasters at least the introductory video thing the you know like my first video the guy says that that that's not good it's but you know here <laughs> so I got hit you know but that was just because he was close he was a melee character and he was close enough to hit me I can't tell just by watching if I'm getting a penalty to my to my gun just because it's close quarters fighting. I know in some D&D style games, definitely, if you have a ranged weapon and you're trying to do close quarters fighting, unless you have particular skill in close quarters fighting, you're at a great detriment. I mean, you know, it's like minus four, minus five to your chance to hit. I haven't seen it in this game, so I, I don't know. I'm just going to switch. I don't want to use an advanced med pack. Um, my heal points are so low. I've only got 18 points. An advanced med pack is a huge waste. So that's just the old standard standby. I heard, I bet. And you can see Karth isn't attacking because he can't see these guys yet. So I could manually run what? him, run him into vision, run him into the line of sight. You asked for this. So that one was a piece of cake. I what? Looks like I managed to get hit again. So what the heck, let's, rather than run back, if I was playing this myself, I would just run back, exit this set of apartments, and transit back to my hideout for a second. But to save you guys the time, I'll just do that instead. And let's try this apartment out. Oh, another fight. And let me guess, Karth is, yes, out of the line Ready. of sight again. We'll have him start out on that guy. Ah, this guy has a shield. I don't know if you can quite see that. But he has like a... Oh, and I just... I'm not dead. I'm unconscious. So if Karth can finish this battle, we're still okay. Uh, but let's see what happens. You asked for this! So the way shields work, especially with energy weapons... You asked for this! 
And I'm, just, I'm just gonna let Car Karth go back with standard shot. And luck was on our side, so I'll come back to life now. I'll come back to life now. There we go. And I've even leveled up. Now probably would be a good time to run back. <laughs> because clearly I'm injured and I don't want to just go through four or five health packs. So, again, what? I'm kind of rambling, so I forgot part of what I was saying, I'm sure. But actually, before I leave, we're not going to get a, another attack. Let's just clean up the loot here. The way the shields work is when you're just shooting standard energy weapons, the hit points come off the shields first until the shields are depleted and then you start hurting the guy. There are ways around that. Certain weapons will damage shields very effectively, certain ones won't. And we don't have any fancy guns at the moment so I think it's pretty much one to one. If I hit the guy for four and he has shields that have six hit points, well now they have two hit points. I think it's as straightforward as that. So let's do our quick transit. And I'll level up also. So, return to hideout. And transit back. And I'll go back in. I see the tie is getting close to when I actually have to take a break to do work. So, and if you're wondering, no, I'm, this is a late night thing that we're having a change going on right now, so I'm, I'm doing evening work. Um, but it's getting close to that time where I have to get back to that. So what I'll do is I'll head back to the apartment we just cleared out. So this is as far as we got. I will level up, and then I think I will call it a day for now. So again, auto level up, not too bad, but I like to do at least my character manually. We've gotten a tribute, and this is actually something not so straightforward. I Do I want to increase my dexterity again? My dexterity modifier right now is 3. So most armor. This is what uh, we were talking about when the armor said it had a maximum dexterity bonus of plus 2, plus 5, plus 3. If I wore heavy armor, it has a maximum dexterity bonus of plus 2 usually. So I would be losing some of the benefit I get for having such a high dexterity. That's all that means. If it has plus 5 maximum, I'm good to go because I've only got plus 3, so obviously it's not reducing my dexterity bonus. So I, we have a difficult call. Do I continue to increase my dexterity? Probably not a bad idea, really, as Rogue. Charisma is also helpful, but so is Strength if I eventually want to start using Swords. That's all, I almost always use swords in this game, you know, and I, I have played it through quite a number of times. I enjoy this game. I think I'm going to avoid them this time, just to make it different. Just uh, when I did my Let's Play for Borderlands, I made what I thought was kind of a crazy choice, and it turned out really fun. So I, I think I'm going to do that. We're going to stick with Dexterity and Charisma and and stay at Strength 10 and see what this game is like if I stick to ranged weapons. So for now, I, I can't decide. Do I want... My charisma is pretty good at the moment. But I'm tempted to put it in charisma anyway. Modifies force-related feats. That's a, that could be really handy later on. And my dexterity seems pretty good right now. So how about I, I work to get my Charisma up to 16, and then we go back to increasing my Dexterity. Because I think at 16 I get a plus 3 modifier. And, oh, no, I was going to say, do I have another point to spend, but I don't. Okay. So whether that's a great idea or a terrible one, it is done. And there we go. So... There's a save, and we'll do a full save, and we're going to call this. Again, I don't know where I'm going to cut these videos together, so it may not be the end for you guys. But for me, it is. So uh, I think I want to resave this. And see you next time, or see you in one second, whichever it works out to be.